Hello tea friends. Today I come with you come to you with my favorite cup. Ooh. This is a Prince Albert rose cup from um, it's very full from about the 1920s and it's really delicate. I'm drinking a ginger peach um, herbal mix today. And I just made, this is probably my third or fourth uh, cup and my second pot. I've been sharing it. So, mm, it's warm and delicious. And isn't this probably the most beautiful cup you've ever seen? The bird thinks it is. Did you know that drinking with your pinkies out is not strictly correct uh, tea etiquette. It's not. I don't know why it became believed that it was, but it's more correct to tuck the pinky under the fingers to help support the weight of the liquid and cup. That's good. So it's a really beautiful Saturday today, and I hope you are all doing very well. Um, what are you drinking today? My friend Chelsea Bloomberg is actually the one who got me into really fancy teas um, back in college. She had a tea party and she had a pot um, for every different flavor of tea. And she had, um, I think it was called Monk's Blend, that was one that I really liked. And there was one that was like a pear flavored spiced, uh, like pear wine or something like that. Um, and she had all these different teas from this little shop in Snohomish and I had to go and buy some of their fancy teas after that and um, this was before multi-level marketing parties were popular and she wasn't selling the tea she was just having a tea party and I thought it was so cool that she had multiple pots of tea for us to try and ever since then I've been um, interested in flavored teas, black teas, green teas, white teas. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd shout you out, Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you for beginning my tea journey. Um, granted, I had had other teas before that, but I'd never really thought about them or savored them or sought out different flavors that were interesting. I'd never considered whether sugar or honey would best bring out the flavor that I was looking for. Um, today this is just sweetened with a little bit of sugar. It's just ginger tea and I personally like ginger and sugar together. Um, ginger, though I, I suppose honey would be also really good. It would probably bring out more of the peach flavor in the tea so that would be a fun experiment to try. But this one's not going to be hard to finish as you can tell unlike the last one I posted where it was a ginormous cup. This is teeny tiny. It's so delicate. How is your family? And you? Well, thank you for joining me today. And that is about all, so bottoms up.